Prunestein, Newcastle 1, Wolves 2. What's your thoughts after that? Devastated, mate, because at the end of the day, we're down to 10 men. We defended for that long for the last however many minutes um, and then just to uh, not switch off and you know we're playing for time to a degree pretty much from the point we went down to 10 men mm. I know the players want to grab that last minute goal to get three points but at the same time when Perez had that ball if we could have just stood it in the corner for 30 seconds longer it was a point to take home yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, I know they want to score a goal and nick the three points and we would have all loved it if they had done it but on the other side we've gone and lost a point when we, we didn't have to really mm. so yeah disappointing what did you make of another change starting 11 by Rafa Benitez I know well uh, obviously Shaw couldn't play um, and then I think well, well, well done it on the bench mm. I mean if he's not fit to play why, why is he on the bench because man we obviously came on so he clearly isn't fit enough to even play yeah. 45 minutes of football well that's the thing because as well obviously before Yedlin got the red card I, I felt like we were all over the shop players mm. were playing out of position yeah um, why bring Mankio on when you can bring Dummett on, play him in the back three with Yedlin out on the right? Yeah. Um, had Atsu and Rich, was Atsu playing centre mid at some point or yeah. was he just kind of drifting in there? Yeah. I've got no idea, but we no. just we looked we all the sorts. We're, at the end as well, you know, we, we took Rondon off. I know obviously when we were pretty much defending for the whole second half, but when, at least when we're getting the ball long, we was holding it up. Don't want to have a go at Josh Lou, but he came on and he only had five minutes to play. Run your socks off until the clock goes down. And he was just kind of wandering around the top. So, I, yeah, I don't know. There was, I mean, it was always going to be tough down to 10 men, but I think we worked hard for it. And then just to kind of throw it away at the end was uh, was tough to take. Mm. It's a big loss, isn't it? Because Wolves are going to be there and thereabouts coming in the season, you would have thought. Yeah, yeah. It kind of ruins the great point we picked up away at Goodison. Yeah. You guys' home record has been very poor this season, though. We'll go to Huddersfield next week. Are you preferring away trips this season compared to home games? You fancy we'll get a win more? It's, uh, I've got no idea. I mean, like you just said there, we had those three fantastic wins in a row, bringing, coming home to uh, play West Ham, and it was, it was, it was awful, that game, losing 3-0. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. And then, like you just said, I'm thinking, away to Evan, oh, God, after that game against West Ham, we're going to get stuffed here. Yeah. Pick up a really good point. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe the, the confidence is back on our side again. And then today, I know it was 1-1 going into the end of the first half, but... I think Wolves had the, had the better of it really today. Um, we, we did make a couple of chances. I mean, in, in general, I don't think it was the, the most exciting game to watch for anyone. There wasn't a lot of spark going either way. Um, I don't know what's up with the players at the minute in the home games. I mean, the Wolves fans brought a lot. Well, the Wolves, Wolves brought a lot of fans today, so credit to them for that. Um, but I, I don't know. Ask Rafa. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of this. Uh you know, outside of the pitch there, behind the scenes. Yeah. Mike Ashley, is he serious about selling Newcastle United? I don't I've no idea, mate. The only thing I, the only thing is if he was if he was genuinely gonna sell at this time, why not just sell it and walk away? Why why has he had to go on Sky Sports and do these interviews? Yeah. Because if he just sold up and walked on, it would, it would be no difference either way whether he did the interview or not. The only reason I can think he did the interview was to make it very publicly known that he's gonna sell the club. To stop the boycott? He, and in doing that, I think, makes it seem less genuine of anything else. So I'm praying that it happens this time, but I mean, he could have just played an interview or whatever he said this time last year. Yeah. And it would have just been exactly the same. Yeah. So I've got no faith in it happening. I really hope it does. But like you just said there, with the boycott and then obviously the January transfer window coming up, I didn't buy anyone because I was going to sell. And it's just all happening all over again. Yeah, so dog, yeah. yeah, we're all, you and me and everyone else are just standing here hoping that it actually does happen this time. And fingers I mean if it can't happen before January all the better so a new owner can come in and uh, try and g get a bit of money put in but my hopes aren't high but you've got to have hope because if you don't then you haven't got anything else yeah well said mate thank you yeah, good to see you yeah.